As we reported earlier this week, Illinois is expected to become the first state to mandate Asian American history be taught in public schools. The Illinois State House and Senate passed a measure called the Teaching Equitable Asian American Community History Act, or TEACH Act. Governor J.B. Pritzker will likely sign the bill into law. It would require elementary and high schools to devote part of their curriculum to the history of Asian Americans in the U.S. The unit would include history on the communities specifically in Illinois and the Midwest. This comes as reports of anti-Asian hate incidents continue to rise nationwide. Illinois State Representative Jennifer Gong Gershowitz joins me now. She's one of the co-sponsors of the TEACH Act. Welcome to Red and Blue, Representative. Thanks very much for being with us. You first proposed this bill last year before the pandemic. Why did you feel this bill was necessary? Well, thank you so much for having me. TEACH is about uplifting Asian American stories and experiences at a time of anti-Asian, a rising anti-Asian hate and violence. Um, we felt that, especially now, it was important uh, to focus on uplifting our experiences that have contributed to the American fabric. Well, can you tell us more, Representative, about how the Asian American history curriculum might be developed? Yeah, so um, specifically in the bill, the TEACH Act requires a unit of Asian American history in K through 12 public schools in Illinois. It does not mandate a specific curriculum in the bill. It is our hope that we will have conversations with educators throughout Illinois as we develop curriculum that ensures that the stories of Asian Americans in Illinois and throughout the United States are taught in our public schools. So the idea here is that we would include and hear from voices in our communities and develop curriculum that is designed to be inclusive. And I'm curious, what kind of reaction are you getting to this bill? We are seeing tremendous support. Um, I was incredibly proud that this piece of legislation passed with overwhelming majority bipartisan support, um, passing on concurrence with over 100 votes in the Illinois House. And I have heard from legislators and individuals throughout the country asking how they might be able to pass teach in their states. Um, we feel that based on research, we know that Asian American history is missing in U.S. classrooms. And especially now, as we are seeing anti-Asian uh, acts of uh, violence and discrimination shamefully common, we feel it's incredibly important to highlight not only the contributions and achievements of Asian Americans, but also to have a larger conversation and reckoning on what is also part of the Asian American experience, which is one of racialized violence and exclusion. Um, this bill is incredibly important and personal to me as a third generation Chinese American whose own grandparents faced discrimination um, and deportation under the Chinese Exclusion Acts. And yet as a graduate of Illinois public schools, I knew nothing about the Chinese Exclusion Acts or my own family's history until I was in law school. Um, this bill is seeking to change that, to ensure that Asian American stories are included in the classroom so that what fills that gap are not harmful stereotypes. We feel that the best way to defeat ignorance is with education, um, and this bill is designed to do just that. You know, it's interesting because I actually was born in Chicago, raised uh, in the suburbs, and I, too, having gone through the Illinois public school system, didn't learn about a lot of this Asian American history, as you say, until later years. I'm wondering, uh, Representative, what else specifically to Illinois and to the Midwest about the Asian American experience do you envision being part of this curriculum? Um, well, that's, uh, you know, honestly, part of the implementation process. We need to have those conversations with educators and with community leaders throughout Illinois. Um, after the bill initially passed the House of Representatives, I had a conversation with one of my colleagues who said that she has a very large um, Lao community in her district. And, you know, 
could we have conversations about ensuring that the contributions and experiences of Asian American communities that have contributed to what it means to be an American, not only um, in the United States, but here in Illinois, um, could be part of that conversation that is absolutely the intent of this bill is to have those conversations with community leaders throughout Illinois and ensure that that curriculum includes the stories of those whose experiences make up our shared experience. Right, and, and as we've noted on this program and, and elsewhere on CBSN, it, of course, like so many other communities, is not a monolith. And so the challenge of kind of bringing those stories um, at a time, especially um, as we noted, when there have been an increase in reports of anti-Asian violence, um, really feels very critical. But as you know, the subject of teaching history now has become politicized. There was, of course, the New York Times 1619 project. Project, examining slavery in America, and then former President Trump's 1776 project, which was abandoned once President Biden took office, at a time when it seems as though uh, everything, uh, particularly educational curriculum, is subject to politicization. What do you think can help neutralize those concerns with your bill? Well, you know, I think it's important to remind everybody that Asian American history is American history. Um, we're not asking to uh, include something uh, that isn't already being uh, included in curriculum. In other words, we already teach U.S. history. We already teach social studies in our classrooms. This is about painting a complete picture of those who have contributed to what we all know as American history. Um, so it's about taking a, a look at how we teach these subjects through the lens of everyone who has contributed to what we know as American history. Um, I have said often that um, this is about um, all of us. Uh, this is um, about ensuring that all of us have a better understanding of who we are, um, because we cannot do better unless we know better. And that means seeing one another, understanding one another, and understanding our shared history. Um, I was incredibly proud to have received broad, bright partisan support for this bill, which I think says a lot about the way that Illinois has looked at what it means to be inclusive in curriculum. Um, this was not a partisan issue in the Illinois General Assembly. It passed unanimously out of the Senate uh, with both Democrats and Republicans supporting the initiative to ensure that both Asian Americans see themselves in curriculum, but that non-Asians also understand the contributions and experiences of Asian Americans um, that are woven into the fabric of American history and ought to be in included so that we all understand uh, who we are. Well, in this moment in particular, it's certainly rare to see these moments of bipartisanship, but I think encouraging for Americans to see that there are still things that people on both sides of the aisle can, in fact, agree on. Illinois State Representative Jennifer Gong-Gershowitz, thanks very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.